been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It's that time of the week. Of course, it's Tuesday, the street session, 6 to 8. You already know how we go down. Hey, how you doing, Faraz, man? Obviously, right now, he's on the decks today. I thought, ah, oh, let me just take a little vacation. Let's just swap, and then uh, I'll be on the MC thing, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, it's all lit right now, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Right now, we have Lauza in the building as well. He was holding it down this morning. Catch him here every morning. Yo, brother, tell us quickly, what are you going to be playing for? Where are you going to be playing tomorrow? What's your theme for tomorrow? All right, let's not introduce the show today. Hype Wednesdays. Okay, okay, there we go. Hype Wednesdays. But anyways, right now is about us. So what are you telling me for us? Obviously, you are tuning into the street sessions. I think uh, MK uh, kind of forgot that part. But yeah, you know. I already said that, but anyway. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Listen, we swapped positions today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, your boy is going to be DJing in solo soon, mm. so I need to have a date to myself yeah, on the yeah, decks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell us. Why, why are you practicing? What, what have you got coming up? Listen, yeah. Breakfast with Faraz coming every Monday, every Friday, starting yes, from yes. this Friday, you know? Mm. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Mm. Before the hottest in the streets, Lauza. Mm-hmm. They love to see it. They love to see it, man. 10 a.m. Before Lauza. You know, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm bigging him up and it's confusing. <laughs> I'm bigging the man them up and it's confusing. <laughs> He's like, wait, that doesn't make no sense. Did you say 10 p.m.? <laughs> no, I didn't, bro. I said a.m. <laughs> um, but we've got a lot of topics to get through today. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I definitely want to dissect this Chip and Stormzy. Mm. That has to be dissected. Regardless yeah, of what happened yeah, today, yeah. on Saturday, mm. I have to hold my hand up and yeah. say I did not realise Skengman with uh, Getz was Stormzy's response to Chip. So when I said, and I quote, I don't care about Chip responding because Stormzy ain't said nothing, I have to apologise. So big shout out to everybody that realised I was talking that rubbish because I didn't know it was rubbish. Stormzy did respond. But we've got to dissect it today. I got the mm. lyrics. I told you I was going to get the lyrics. Mm-hmm. We've got the lyrics. We're going to dissect it properly. Yes. You can call it the wannabe academic section. Oh. Um, <laughs> section, not session. Um, <laughs> but obviously, we're gonna. I'm gonna let Joe go through. There's a lot of conversations to be having in those DMs. Some yes, old, yes, some yes. a little bit new, but some that is worthy of a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Joe, introduce the next joint. Mm. It's Ariana Grande right now. Positions. You already know how we go down. Street sessions. Been tuned into the street session. session. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. But yes, 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 that was Movado Legacy right there. But obviously now we, we're going to go into the topics. Like we always say, enough tune, enough yeah. topic for your head top. Now, as the people locked into the live, shouts to you, man, can see the title of the topic that we're talking about right now is... Is Drake still the GOAT? Facts. I had to put hashtag Funk Flex because there was a video that surfaced last week, last Wednesday actually, uh, shouts to academics. And uh, he was basically resharing a live that Funk Flex was doing with, I believe it's Jesus and Mero. Uh, it doesn't say on this, on this caption over here, but that doesn't matter because what was said in that live was kind of interesting. Basically, the whole sentiment about it was that the freestyle that he did on Funk Flex was rehearsed with those with them two. So the fact that he had his in BlackBerry a, in, a in his room, hand, right? huh? It was in a private room. Yeah. So b- prior to going live on radio, yes, they had practiced it, right? Yeah. So he what the so basically what he's trying to say is when he brought out the BlackBerry when the cameras were out, he didn't need to because he already practiced it. He already memorized it. So he wasn't reading anything for the Blackberry. But we're just gonna leave the audio playing of the video. So if you could lower down the instrumental quick time, we got the audio right here. Listen to the audio carefully because we're gonna drop our one two opinion as well. We practiced that verse in the room already. He didn't need the Blackberry because we practiced it in the room 
first with no Blackberry. So when the camera came out, he pulled out the Blackberry. You want to know why? Because as a rapper, if you look at a guy with a Blackberry, you go, oh, he must have wrote those words. He already knew the words when me and him were practicing in the room. Think about that. What he's what, he, what he what he's putting forward. Oh, the camera's out. Let me show you this BlackBerry as if I wrote these rhymes. He didn't fucking write rhymes on my show. I know Are he you, didn't write it. You, he memorized. I wrote the BlackBerry. Go ahead. But yeah, uh, <laughs> forgot that there was a little bit of a. Uh, Mess up in those words of those choice of words, but mm. that was basically what he said. Yeah, yeah, that was the clip. So the question still remains. Hold on, big shout out to Kate that's jumped up on the live right now. And uh, I want Kate, hope you enjoy the conversation. So join in on the conversation, but anyway, Drake, carry on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the question still remains is Drake still the goat? All right, cool. Now, I got oh, to nah. mm, yes. listen, I've been saying this from day one. Okay, go on. If you're a rapper. Yep. You ain't writing those rhymes. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, broski. Mm -hmm. You ain't it. True. Now, uh. I look at Drake. Yes. He's a pop star. Mm. Should I be holding him the same standards to a street butter? Are we holding Drake to the same standards as a meat mill? I say this because yeah. Drake is from the Generisys, that show on Disney. Yeah. Not broke. Yeah. Not been for the trenches. Uh. He's not that guy. Yeah, yeah. He's Taylor Swift in them. Yeah. He just raps, yeah. and he's got great rhymes, bars. Yeah. He's basic. He he's Eminem but privileged. Mm. Like Eminem right, really yep, came yep. from the streets. Eminem yeah, yeah. really was struggling. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah. Drake hasn't been in that kind of same struggle. We've all heard about his yeah, life yeah. story, bro. Uh -huh. My dude's been an actor since he was like twelve years old on Disney. Like he's not <laughs> been in for the same struggle. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, been in the game yeah. for a minute. Yeah. Came out of act he basically. Yeah. What Jake Paul did. Yep. Disney, yeah. Vine, YouTube, yeah. superstardom. Yeah. Drake is Disney, yeah. rap, yeah. stardom. It's just the same thing, yeah. different yeah. sector. They uh, came from Disney World, yeah, yeah. and then whatever platform they wanted to be on, yeah, yeah. they used they that platform that yeah. existed uh -huh. and blew. Drake uh -huh. had a platform before rap. Uh -huh. He wasn't some dead rapper who like you know needed help yeah, he yeah. had money to uh, invest into himself yeah, yeah, to get yeah. to where he got to course, shout out to wheezy for seeing the talent and putting yeah, him on yeah of course of course had he been found uh -huh. by somebody like a universal that was just any white dude from the street drake yeah, yeah. wouldn't be that same rapper he wouldn't have had the uh. influence of the streets yeah, yeah. to put towards his music yeah, 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 yeah he yeah. got that he yeah. got the streets the so street would element would, would have got hotline bling from like 10 years ago then I mean, he, he <laughs> wouldn't be making hot like Bing. Yeah. Uh, what's the other song? Uh, and coming home. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, them type of joints. Coming home. Yeah, them, <laughs> them yeah, type yeah, of yeah, joints yeah. would have uh, been his joints. Yeah. All of that other stuff that yeah. was more street, more hood, headlines, Energy, all them type of joints. Yeah. We wouldn't have got Zero those to because he wouldn't have had yeah. that cold sign from the street. He had yeah. cold sign from uh, Weezy and Burden. Uh, uh, Do you understand yeah, how big yeah, that is yeah, from yeah, somebody uh, not from the street? That's uh -huh. huge. That's uh, huge. Yeah. Course, That's almost like Eminem. He got he got the green light to, to even go out black dudes in, in, in rap beefs and that. Mm. Rolling with Drake, he can yeah, really be cussing yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know, for example, I don't know, like R. Kelly. I'm just thinking of any black people. R. Kelly's <laughs> wrong <name. laughs> We don't want to see R. Kelly back outside of the street. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Everyone could cuss him. <laughs> a a jar rule. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eminem would never have had that respect yeah, yeah, yeah. going at uh -huh. a jar rule uh -huh. without the cold sound of Dre and Fifty. Yeah, yeah. You know, so Dre and Fifty uh -huh. gave Eminem that green light, that yeah, yeah, yeah. almost like that acceptance that uh -huh. you're in a culture, uh -huh. and that's what Drake got. Uh -huh. But when I say Drake is not, when I say Drake's not part of the culture, uh -huh. or not a goat for not writing his rhymes and all of that, uh -huh. he's a goat because I'm looking at him like a Taylor Swift. So in terms of records, he is. Yeah. Bro, 100% he is a yeah. goat. Oh, of course. He's Taylor yeah, of Swift. Of course, of course, of course. He's Taylor Swift. Of course. Let's not, he let's, just passed, let's what, not he dismiss just passed him. the 50 billion uh, first artist to hit a uh, 50 billion rap. No, no, no first artist all together. No? I thought on I could Spotify, put rap. Spotify. I thought you put rap. Was it? Yeah. We're going to have to double I check. I, hip, I saw a hip hop artist. Here comes the fact check. But yeah, carry on with your point. Yeah, but honest, on, honestly... I don't mind that some of his songs were yeah. written by Party Next Door, yeah. The Weeknd. You uh -huh. gotta remember, yeah. Party Next Door, The Weeknd put Drake on the map. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, 
first artist in history to surpass mm. 50 billion streams on Spotify. So shout out to him. But you know what happened, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He reached 50 billion and then somebody wrote for us to, to get 50 billion. Wait, what? Do you know how weird that sounds? If what? So when it, he just reached 50 billion yeah. and somebody just wrote first artist to meet 50 billion because no one's done it yet. Yeah. That's like me going, that's like me winning a Premier League and someone going, first man to win the Premier League when they just started this year. It's like, okay. I don't, I don't, see, I don't see that as something great. B- only because. I, I think, what was it? Taylor Swift is on 47 billion. Ariana Grande is like, there's better man than this clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake just got there first. first it's like winning a title. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no one cares. It's not that serious. I okay, get it. I get what you mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's the f- like, nobody has ever reached 50 billion. Yeah, so yeah. the first guy that's done it is yeah. cool, but. The new story was a bit weird because I remember yeah. when the first item made a billion. Yeah. No one cared like this. Oh, no one yeah, cared. Yeah, yeah. And then it was 10 billion. Nobody cared. Yeah. Then it was 20, 30. Yeah. Drake meets 50 billion. When Taylor Swift and them and they was making all them streaming records, we sat there and yeah. went, Ah, that's cool. But I was next. Like, <laughs> soon as it's a hip hop artist. Oh my God, Drake made it. Oh, hey, Drake's the goat, you know. Oh yeah, he's the goat. He's a yeah. All right, cool. Let's just talk fact. Yeah. He's the only one that dropped the album. He dropped the album last year. Yeah. What do, you call, what do you call that an album? Do you even call that an album? I don't care what it is. He dropped a project. Here's what it yeah, is. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. Ariana dropped <laughs> yeah. two singles. One with Justin Bieber that yep. was like some charity thing, whatever. Yeah, yeah. She would have beat him if she dropped the album. That's all facts. Okay. Yeah. Taylor Swift would have beat him if she dropped the album. That's all facts. Uh, let, let's I said she dropped something last year, no? She did, she did. Uh, yeah. Early Jan, March. I think, it was, I think it was early COVID, actually. Before oh, TikTok, before TikTok pulled up. Yeah. <laughs> I remember she went straight number one. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's <laughs> bloody Taylor Swift. Yeah, Swift. Well, she was twi- she was number one for like five, six, seven weeks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, of course, <laughs> you'll be, you'll be weird to not expect that. Uh, of course, shout out to people on the live real quick. Yeah. Okay, Chanel is saying that Drake's a goat. All right, Chanel. All right, yeah, yeah. say no more. All right, Shans landed in the building. Yeah, yeah. Hey, fun fact, fun fact. Hey, yo, Shans, if you're seeing this here, Shans, if you're seeing this here. You're the reason why I ain't got a Wednesday show still, just so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was doing 10 to 12 on a Wednesday. Uh, replace Man, then we're like, nah, Shans. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel just said I can't class Drake as a Chanel. But hey, Chanel, listen to this though, yeah. Listen to this. <laughs> you say that, but Drake's a pop star. And if Drake mm. doesn't write all of his rhymes, oh. he's a pop star. So, we Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift doesn't write half of her tunes. I mean that yeah, I mean most yeah, most of pop don't write most of the tunes anyways. But I think the only reason why it's a conversation topic is because once you step into the arena of a rap, yeah, there's expectations with that. But that's one, my point. Though. One being writing your own lyrics. And that's what Just I'm saying. Because, yeah, because he stepped into this arena, we have to give him the same energy. Are you writing your talk stuff or not? Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, in terms of records and stuff, yeah, mm-hmm. he's, he's got status, but in terms of the hip hop. Fresh meds in the building. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, listen, Chanel's laughing, you know, but Chanel is facts, you know. It's facts. We don't want to hear no Drizzy Dre like bada, 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 when somebody wrote it. Listen, when Parton right, <laughs> <when Parton> <laughs> next door keeps writing his hits, <laughs> we're not going to hear them things, you know. Can't even lie. <laughs> but, you know, I say we're going to do some music. Yes, 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 yes. What you got for us? Uh, to conclude, though, I would say. As a pop star, Drake's a goat. Uh-huh. As a rap star, yeah. Drake is. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a star. He's a star. He's not the goat. He's a star because you can't. You can't. You. Tupac. Tupac wrote all of his. Ra- he's not Tupac. I don't want to hear this. I hate the comparison. People come. Oh, but Drake. Drake's like Drake's like Tupac. No, 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 no. That's a comparison. Yeah, the people not from the streets. Of course, there's a comparison. Cause yeah. they talk about the biggest. No, they're talking about the biggest names in rap. Okay, all right. Same I don't. Th- I don't think they're talking about who writes these rhymes. Yeah. The actual music. Yeah. It's the name. Same. Dr- you can go anywhere around the world. Man name Dre. power. Yeah, name power. Like yeah. even Snoop Dogg has a name power. In terms of yeah. bars, Snoop Dogg ain't even close to some of these rappers. But Snoop Dogg is <laughs> wavy, bro. Snoop has had some of the most classic songs, yeah, yeah, but you yeah. don't go to Snoop for. "Quote unquote bar for bar." You go for Snoop for the vibe, isn't it? If you're, especially if you're if you're a smoker. Yeah. We're talking um, football grass foot smokers, yeah, because yeah. obviously it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> it's Tealies. not that time. <laughs> I can't be saying more Peppermint. than that. 
if if you man go on a football pitch, herbal tea, and you lot picking up grass and that, if you aloe want vera, <laughs> aloe vera, <laughs> aloe vera sips here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's uh, an Lars is loving the jokes right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to know about there that on the foot we're pitching now, yeah. Snoop's the guy, bro. Because he has the musical yeah. vibes for yes. being in that type of zone. Yeah, definitely. The man definitely. that really do yeah. enjoy sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of cardiovascular with them sports there, fam. <laughs> I hear that still. Shout out to It Leg, <laughs> jump to the line right now. Big shout out to you, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so... Snoop, Snoop, that's what I'm saying about you. Don't ever, don't ever put Drake in the same reign as a two-part biggie. They, they got nah, some of the yeah, most yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. lyrically best lines of all time. I won't even put him in the same room as 50, to be honest with you. Yeah. Old 50, though. Not, 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 not this new 50. Well, yeah. you're not, well, you're not rocking with that new tune of NLE Chopper, nah? Nah. All right, that song is fine. I can't even lie to you. Well, first of all, it's a song for a TV show, <laughs> so still, I don't really care about the song at all. It's still flames, though. But... I listen, I don't have to I don't have to do you like Chip did young and you want you wanna get sentenced, bro. You wanna get oh, listen. talking about Chip. That's listen, another listen. topic coming up soon listen, as well, listen. so don't listen. 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 Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Your hair's all nappy. I don't <laughs> 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 uh, there's no sound effects. Oh man. <laughs> Everyone thought I was gonna come with a fire bars right there, you know. <laughs> But no, shout, yeah. shout out to Funk Flex. I think the way he talks is a bit is a bit deep. Um, but he, he pulls is. some funny faces on that. Uh, I can't even also, check the one we talked about Jay Z. That's a funny one. But anyway, yeah. up next we got. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, really didn't even have this song yeah, ready. Still, so. but up next we got. Right there. Be tuned into the street <laughs> session man. with your boy for us <laughs> and Joe MK. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yeah. But anyways, oh, we love to see days, it. You know what I'm saying? Right there was an exclusive TikTok. Kate Asher. Obviously, he's, he's locked into the live right now. Obviously, he was the one that requested the, the pull-up. You know I'm saying? We had to read it up one time. But anyways, anyway, like listen, we say, before you carry on, listen, mm. Kate Asher said respect for that, brother. Listen, respect to you, brother. Yes, Dropping man. hits, respect making it to always, us. Always, always. We're always here, you know. I'm saying. But, but anyways, Joey's got a conversation for us, so do your thing, bro. Let yeah. us know what's going on. Once again, shout out to the live crew right now. As you can see, the topic headline, let's talk. Hashtag the Boss It Challenge. Okay, so we saw another tweet from ZZ Mills this week. And I'm going to quote right. it exactly to what she said. She said, women will talk about constantly being sexualized and then partake in all the challenges that sexualize the hell out of us. Now question is is that facts or not <laughs> do, you want, do, you, do you want honest for us or political for us listen this is a street session the hottest show in the right, streets cool. you know what facts. i'm saying so we want to hear facts. the facts <laughs> now it's funny because yes. i had a conversation when i posted this yeah uh-huh. and i put facts on now uh-huh. a lot of girls said facts yep a lot of girls gave me their reasons behind why not. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Uh. Since we are talking about facts, okay. I might as well, rather than tell you what people said, okay. I'm going to re- tell yeah, you yeah. what they I'm going to literally tell you what okay. they said. Okay, yes. We'd so love to see it, man. Love to while see it. you kind of say why you don't think so, or what mm. your opinion, actually, no, I got it here. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> the conversation kind of started like this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So I posted the. Um, Dang, the that's one heated conversation. I can see yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that conversation is looking it was heated. It was serious. It was serious. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. shout out to one of my girls. I'm not going to say her name me, for me, this me, conversation. Me. But yep. my girl said that's a woman's choice to do whatever she wants, right? Yes. If it's a choice concern, it's her body, it's her choice, right? Uh huh. She put. She didn't put. But yeah, I know. Yeah, but yeah, I know you know this already. But yeah, yeah. when a woman walks around, uh-huh. a lot of the times she's viewed as some meat to guys. Yep, yep. Like I feel, I feel, I feel like sometimes when I'm walking and mm. it's horrible, it's a horrible feeling. I just yeah, want to yeah. walk around, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, guys be like yeah. on their neck or whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah. I shout out to boyfriend. I'm mean, usually yeah. yeah, jumping on the line. She's a yes, pussy. Yes, like right Elder Brown. She put in movies and in the past, women were there for sexual appeal only, right? For the uh-huh. guys to watch. Yep, yep, yep. Especially if you've seen the documentary mm-hmm. or the movie to do with um, Fox. Yep. It was all about showing legs. That's when I've come to it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 
So they didn't really have a proper role other than their sexuality. Now yes. that's getting that's obviously now it's getting better. Yep, yep. Of course. I'm not gonna read a lot more than what she said because at the end of the day, it, it wasn't worth it. But my, her point is, her point is, it's your body, it's your choice. Facts. Yeah. True. However. Yes. The one thing that I feel like I, f- I see all the time. Yeah. I don't know if that's a woman issue. It's, you know, people complain. Uh. I'm told it doesn't make sense. Uh-uh. Faza, I say. Yeah. Elaborate, elaborate. A lot of girls will be like, yep. posting whatever they're posting and then crying yeah. about what they gain from that. Ah, uh, okay, I get what you mean. By yeah, that, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Yep. If you're sexualizing yourself by being uh-huh. in a bikini and all of that, uh-huh, uh-huh. don't cry like the man I just want to smash. Mm-hmm. If you're giving off sexual vibes, expect oh, sexual yeah. vibes back. Or, the, or especially, especially another one I've seen <laughs> people be complaining about is, oh, why are the only comments I get are about my body and da 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 da? But then what would they be posting? Their body, da 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 da. Like, Choose one. Like, come on, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm all for female empowerment. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Fam, uh, I mess with that. Yeah. But I feel like sometimes you got you to you gotta look at your content and then realise what you what get you is what you're portraying <laughs> yeah, to, the, yeah, to, the, yeah. to the audience. Yeah. Or to your fans or your followers uh-huh. or whatever. Uh-huh. Unless you're going to be covered up like an Islamic woman all day. Yeah, yeah. Don't complain when people are going, oh, your ass, your ass is nice. Yeah. That's what that's all you're posting. You're beginning yeah. shots in, you know what I'm saying? In your mirror. What everybody doing in, when they go to the gym nowadays? <laughs> they put the little gym tights on. They don't even <laughs> like the gym. More than they're at yeah, yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just do the little the little round of legs. Yeah, Come on, man. Yeah, don't yeah. don't complain when then the next man goes, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, they put the little the peach yeah. emoji and bare love heart emojis and yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, we want we, we want to eat that still. Yeah. Like, what do you expect them to say? What, we might to work out with you? Nah. <laughs> Like what's your what's your what's your what's your diet routine like? I <laughs> yeah, man. I know what your calorie intake is. Man, like. I ain't following you because you looked fifty pounds last week, bro. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. Man, I'm yeah. following you because you look buff in your tights. It's just facts. It's unfortunate, but it's just the facts. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it's not something that you would want, but yeah, that's how the industry. Is. That's mm. how that's how social media works. Mm. It's unfair, one thousand yeah. percent. But it is what it is, yeah. and you just gotta sometimes understand that yeah. what you put out. Yeah. And a lot of them know what they're putting out. Oh, of course. Oh, oh that's an understatement. You know of what course. I'm saying? A lot of them know what <laughs> yeah. they're putting out. But of course, yeah. Oh, man. But, but that's what you're going to get back. Hey, some, of, some of them are dangerous too, fam. I can't even lie to you, man. They, yeah. Shout out to Raz K1. P just jumped to the live right now, you know, and then just left. <laughs> they're out here trying it to get It still says World FM is typing. How long is she typing for, bro? Hey, you know what the funniest thing is? I put yeah. the live name as is typing. <laughs> so oh. when, when people see on the notification, they'll click on it. And you go all by as well. <laughs> oh, I thought man. DJ Elder Brown was typing. Oh, ah man, I'm the king out here. Oh, you gotta be good for <laughs> well, this this been saying that for time. Like, why is she still typing? <laughs> Um, but yeah, what do you feel about the bust it down challenge, anyways? Like uh, as a whole, because <laughs> obviously he's been taking over the timelines heavy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really like it, bro. Yeah. It's what it is, man. I mean, uh, the the yeah. whole point of it is, yeah, you have to have an ass, of course, because that's an, that's the main of the singing a song. Yeah, that's yeah. And then you you kind of come out with like looking scruffy, like you just woken up or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when you do the bust it, you kind of drop down, your ass, titties, all gotta be out, and you know, you gotta portray that kind of like, hoey vibe. Drop it low to the flow. I mean, I'm calling it a hoey vibe, just because what people are wearing. Everybody's kind of uh, dresses like, yeah. it's Halloween. You know when people go, I'm gonna dress like I'm hoeing type vibes. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, party vibes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know yeah, what to call yeah, it, because yeah, yeah, I, don't mind, I don't mind girls that dress like that in oh, general. Yeah, of course. I don't care about how people dress. Aesthetically pleasing, but... Oh. But yeah, you you know, you're, you're, you're showing off your, your figures. Let's say that. Yeah, like you yeah. dress like you're flaunting what you got, which is good. Of course. Big shout out to all the girls that flaunt what they got, God bro. God bless, yeah. God bless. We want to hear nothing different. I want to see what you flaunt. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I can't have it wrong. God bless. But I feel like you should portray what you got. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if, I, if I had a big chest, which I don't, I'll be flaunting my chest, you know what I'm saying? I got a bit of boobies and that, but I don't know. <laughs> girl, I don't want to see that, but on, on, on Friday, though, some girl really wanted to see that, don't you say? Uh, yeah, we, we, yeah, no, that's a, that's a, 
classified. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, man. Um, yeah, when it comes to these challenges, yeah, I don't mind. Nah, it's just the thing is, is a case by case thing. If I see you, if I see you yeah. doing the challenge, and then you complain about being sexualized. That's an idiot thing. I have to say that. Yeah, you but can't, you, ha- you can't choose both sides. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the issue that I have as well, you know, because for me, it's like, I don't yeah. mind how you how you treat your body, mm-hmm. what you want to do, yes. what you think is right or, right or wrong. Yeah. It's how you carry yourself. Yeah, yeah. Now, the way everybody should carry themselves is yeah. the way they want to be treated, right? You of see, course, me, yeah. I would never post, yeah. like... I'm trying to think like how, how would I describe it the way that I post myself uh. is how I want to be portrayed right yeah yeah so like there's been times uh-huh. you've done videos yeah. or our, our, our like contemporaries like our friends or yeah whatever yes. you want to call it yeah, they've done video uh-huh. and the first thing I'll say is bro delete that I don't want to see that <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah because for me I don't want to be seen as that yeah yeah it's course. like and more time those type of videos it might uh. be me too lit yeah. at one of our you know close friends houses yeah. where <laughs> you, you're laughing but <laughs> let me just yeah, tell the story I know, man I know them times <laughs> yeah like I just look mad yeah yeah true 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 yeah <laughs> big shout out to Chade 8 in the building yes yes I just look mad so yeah. those type of videos I'm uh. always like nah I don't want people to see that uh uh-uh. Like, I just don't. Like, it's yeah, not really something yeah, that yeah. I want to portray. It's me being mad lit, true, true, true. falling over. It's, just, it, it's, it's, it's not It's not good for, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, no madness, yeah. But, mm. if I'm getting lit, yeah. I can't complain true. about how I'm portrayed because I'm still getting lit. Yeah. So if people go to me like, oh, you're always lit, yeah. how can I cry about it? Uh. And that's how I feel like girls should be acting. They yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want a certain type of energy, yeah. don't complain when you get that certain energy if you're still doing it. Oh. Listen, posting naked once isn't that deep. Yeah. But continuously doing it yeah. and then continuously complaining yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I always go on my Instagram story yeah, yeah, and yeah. post myself wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just do it in a way where I don't look yeah, like I'm controlling that. Jeez, man, Yo, like, the EQ, the building. man? Yeah, 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 EQ in the building, you know, one of the hottest DJs in the streets is uh, right here, you know, World Fem Family, you know. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, what, EQ, what, you, you might need to jump on this conversation, sign? you know. What, you're doing a cover shift for Dizzy or something? <laughs> 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 oh, okay, I... Right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, so what was I saying? Yeah, mm. girls, like, they need to understand that yeah. men go by the image they portray. Yeah. Let's just talk facts. A lot of girls... visual creatures, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of men are horny as well. Yeah, yeah right. like. of course. But yeah, anyways, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. streets, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, as you're saying, but visual yeah. creatures and that. Yeah, so stop complaining when you're cons- consistently providing mm-hmm. what you already noticed in mm-hmm. your comment section, mm-hmm. in your DMs. Yeah, yeah. They've seen the comments. Yes. They've seen the DMs. Yeah. But they're still complaining. Yeah. But they're still posting it. Uh, uh. And I'll tell you why they still post it. Because uh. they get the, the followers, the likes, and the interaction. Uh. And what does that equals? Brands. Yeah. Let's just talk facts. Yep. Brand deals only care about fo- likes and interaction yep. and followers. Yep, yep. What the girls know? Let me post X, Y, and Z. Bet naked things. So that I can get, get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do they forget? That's what you're going to be portrayed for forever. Yeah. You're always going to be an OnlyFans looking thing. Yeah. And OnlyFans some kind of thing. And an OnlyFans paid without the go swipe up. <laughs> you're still an OnlyFans girl. Oh, going. since we've talk- since we gone into that topic. Oh, yeah. Even, though, hey, to go even, even though this wasn't on the list. The sexualizing. That's what we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, no jumper. Uh, mm-hmm. I saw on uh, the Instagram. Yes, last yes, week. yes. Uh, so, for people that don't know, Instagram yes. is basically banning the promo of OnlyFans on their platforms. Yeah. And they've gone after some of the biggest OnlyFans um, content creators. Yeah. 
to basically show them that look, we are serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> stop doing. And basically, the reason why they're doing that is because accounts just gone. Well, the main reason behind it, and also yeah. shout out to academics for giving me the point of view because I brought it up to you. You've already uh, seen it anyway. Uh, Instagram don't benefit from people moving to another platform. Yep. They're not a porn hub scene. Mm-hmm. Instagram ain't trying to be a porn hub scene. Yep. Shout out to Lars in the building still. And you know, it's all about Instagram benefit. Yes. Of course. Instagram yeah. doesn't have a deal with, with, uh, with OnlyFans. No, not at all. Nothing exists over there. Yeah. So they're looking at it like, okay, cool. So you're using our platform uh. to essentially sell sex. They're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. we don't do that. Nah, no That's here. not where the platform is. Mm. That's not where one. Because yeah. you know when you when people do brand deals? Yeah, yeah. You see, they gave you an option to add the brand deal. So yeah. brand with the yeah, so yeah, and so yeah, and so yeah. and so yeah. or wherever. Uh. I don't know if you know, but Instagram gets benefits out uh, of that. Yeah, yeah. They get so uh. let's say Paramount drops you 50, 50k. Yeah, you do a post. Yeah, it does well. Yeah, who does that benefit? The grant. Uh. Yeah, because they're still on that platform. But if, if you tell Manu to swipe up on the OnlyFans, uh. who does that benefit? The girl that posted it. Yeah, nobody else. Yeah, and yeah. then OnlyFans. Yeah, and Instagram are not looking at it like. Only fans didn't come to us and say, "Yo," because they were probably they're probably thinking, "Wow, yeah. we we can make a section for this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can put. Yeah. Oh, sponsored by Only Fans on your post. Yeah, yeah. Get a little peas yeah. from Only Fans, and it's lit. Yeah. But they're not getting that. Yeah. But what I'll, do you think about, it anyways? I would highly doubt Facebook would ever ever do a deal with Only Fans. But well, that's extortion, though. Isn't it? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. It, mm, now basically, you're calling these girls prostitutes. <laughs> paying for sexual favors. Okay. Do you know what OnlyFans you know, is, you bro? Know, you, you go on, you go online, yep. you talk to this girl face to face, and you tell them, hey, "Take off your bra, I'll give you ten pound." Could you do this type of pick for me, please? That that's sort of stuff. But Pe- that's basically. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna break it down in its raw essence, yeah. Because mm-hmm. I, I like I like studying I like studying the origins of words. You know what I'm saying, Lauza? Because he's listening into the conversation hard. Hold on, big shout to Melo in the building. Yeah. But it's like, do you mind if your girlfriend do the challenge? Is what Chanel just said. Um, to be fair, I don't. I, I, really I don't think I would care if my girl did the challenge. I will tell you what, the, the Bassett challenge isn't as deep as it sounds. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's really. a challenge. Everybody's having fun. What it's was, TikTok. What was it last year? Was the Don't Rush challenge? Yeah, well, last year yeah, was yeah, Don't it was, Rush. It was pretty much the same thing, except there was no oh, taking. Oh, do, do you do you also do you remember the the rap when they was talking about the, the Tiger thing? The whole. I don't know what I did when I when I sat and I eat my. P- you know, you know. Was it when? What year was this? It was like last year. It was like really? I would do it before or after lockdown. I will. I, I will let our brother eat for a. You don't know that. Uh, one. I, I can't went, say I the went, words. Went, it's so I went, bad. I went on TikTok. Dying. I can't say the words, yeah. but it was like <laughs> there was a rap one when girls was basically talking about yeah, yeah. what they would let a man do to eat uh, their. You know what I'm saying. Uh, that was the big. Ch- <laughs> right, don't Lousa. choke in your drink, Lauza. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it. Hey, Lauza in the building. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I hear that, I hear that, I hear that still. Yeah, so yeah, it's weird. But bust it down, no, I'll let any, a- anyone I know do that still. I can't even lie. But, anyways, we're going to get back to where we were. So, yeah. <laughs> carry on with the same, bro. Yeah, so I like looking at the origins of words, you know? And uh, obviously, the, t- the terms of service that they were specifically talking about was the one where you're not allowed to promote pornography on the on the platform. Now, well, that's actually a terms and condition. Terms of service is the same as terms and conditions. You know that, right? Huh? Terms and so terms of service and terms of conditions are the same thing. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do you like that. But oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, basically he was correcting Lauza. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> nah, I'm joking, you're joking. He was correcting me, so I just didn't want to take the break. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, carry on. So terms of service, um, terms of conditions, yeah. whatever. Let's go. So the th- the funny thing is about the English languages, you have to look at the origins of certain words. So the word we're going to look at today, kids, is pornography. 
Now, if you put, if you split hey, the you two, know what, do you know what time it is? Yes, I do know what okay, time it is. Check. It's not a swear word. If you split the word to, uh, you have porneo and logia. Obviously, it, it it derives from Greek. Yeah, yeah. Lo- yeah listen, yeah. I'm, I'm schooling listen. you. I'm schooling you guys right now. What does porneo mean? That's how I know this guy really be what on does, porn what does, No, 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 no. I studied Greek for a little bit. What does porneo mean? Prostitution. What does lo- logia mean? Documentation. Put them words together is a document documentation yeah. of prostitution. Right. Tell me something. Right. That's it. So, yeah, but what's with that being point, said, bro? I'm saying, with that being said, yeah. Obviously, you were talking about ah, uh, people don't want labels, but we're just gonna have to talk, the, talk about the facts. They said they don't yeah. want pornography on the platform. They've just banned you on those terms. What have they just called you? A prostitute. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's it. I, I dropped the mic. What? A prostitute. But they've also called you a porn star. But you know what's funny? You know when people used to, you know that uh, six, seven, eight months ago when all OnlyFans girls were claiming they weren't porn stars? That was one of the most weirdest things ever, you know. You, that's exactly why I had to bring that up. <laughs> you're, you're doing cam, you're doing cam activity, <laughs> is which is a section go, on every on porn site. Yeah. yeah, it's a section on every porn site, cam girl. It's a section. You're a cam girl. You take, you, you, you look at the, the, the chat, man, them tell you what they want. They send you some peas. And you do it. In the form of stickers. Don't ever come to me and tell me this ain't porn, bro. And gold because stars. What are they doing? They're wanking. They're fornicating themselves <laughs> to your content. So just stop, be stop. Just be honest with yourself. Yeah. If you wanna eat. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. I just hate people that I hate people that are in denial and acting like they don't know. Of, just be proud of your labels, man. Facts, bro. Hey. There's nothing wrong with doing porn. Get your bag, B. Get your bag. You know what the girls say? Get your bag. Oh my god, you're getting money. Get your but get your the, money, sis. Yeah, all of that. Female empowerment, all of that. Do your thing. Don't complain about it, bro. But anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go into the next song. You know hey, don't come, don't come to us with the pitchforks, please. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to state the facts quick time. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, what are you saying? Shout out to a DJ that was here on Friday. You know, Alex Nay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. One of the hottest, hottest DJs. Held it down on the decks. Can't lie. Held it down on the decks. You know. So big shout it was, out to you. It was you, a hot you know. set. It was a hot set. Was it was saying. more than a hot set. Yeah. It was a hot set and a crazy night. Um, my arm still hurt, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Rick started back my arm like twice. <laughs> I want everybody to know what happened that day. But um, <laughs> we're gonna go into oh my my live is ending in a minute, so I'm gonna end the live and then make a new one. So just start through on that one. Yeah, might as well just run straight to the tune, <laughs> reset. But yes, DJs, <laughs> shout out to Alex Nail on that one as well. Mm-hmm. But anyways, Young Bane, Section, because you know, life is a mad thing. Mm. Being tuned into the street session. session. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Boom trap. Yes, hey, listen, this yes. piece kind of fire. I think this is an MKB, right? Yeah, this is an MKB as well. Huh? He calls it PBC4. Now you know why we don't yeah. ever big up his beats. Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, it means Playboy Carty 4 because it's a Playboy Carty type beat, isn't it? Yeah, I nah, you, you saved that one very well, but we don't want to hear that. <laughs> Anyways, we heard that you've got another tune coming out. Who, me? Shout out to K Bree, just jump on the live right now. Uh, did I say tune? I meant topic. Oh, that was what I said. I was like, huh? <laughs> but yeah, um... Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, we're trying to catch up with last week's topics. You know what I'm saying? Saturday morning, we're a bit too <laughs> too jolly. Let's just say that. Obviously, we just played music straight and then we just had a little, little conversation. Yeah, I was sleeping, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, we, we were tired. Lauza left us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wait, Lauza, what, what can't time did you leave? What time was it that you left? Ten. It was ten when you left. Right. Ooh, no, it wasn't. Oh, no, it was that eight. Oh, so just when we started? No, but he left before Pastor Ray came, bro. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, Dizzy. Dizzy. Hey, Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy. You ain't gonna buy a drink today, Dizzy. Dizzy, FMF. <laughs> Dizzy, FMF in the building. We, we, we have to look after his pockets today. Big <laughs> <laughs> shout out. 
I can't even lie. My, 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 my like this has been holding it down for the World Fair team yeah. on Tuesday for like what? The past three weeks? Energy Tuesday. I, I must, I must have been like to enjoy it. Listen, listen. We're about to take out a bottle for Disney. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is dropping £40 pound every week. It's becoming expensive, bro. <laughs> Man's getting taxed for a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> they got to start paying him like 20 pounds an hour at this yeah. point, bro. <laughs> and we're the new guys too, man. I, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, but had to make sure Dizzy wasn't going to the <laughs> shop this time. <laughs> but says Dizzy's here as well. So, Joe, get the conversation together. Yeah, you we, came we at we the right Dizzy time, man. Just on the, the beginning well. of the thing. Yeah, man. So, basically, headline. Friend of Dutchavelli allegedly responsible for leaked video of M. Honcho. So, if if none of you were, if any of you were living under a rock last week, on a, it was a, it was an IG story, right, or a Snapchat story? Uh, it was Instagram. Yeah. Well, it was on Snap, mm. but it blew up on Instagram. Okay, so it was a story of some sort. Let's just say that. It was, uh, a, it was on Snap. This was on was, Snap. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Somebody screen yeah, recorded yeah. it yeah. and then put it on the gram. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. Man. It was cool. <laughs> so, anyways, the video re- uh, surfaced of M Honcho's face. Obviously, he was. It was in a recording session with Dutchavelli and the crew and whatever, whatever. You know, we're not going to get into all of them. You know, things, you know what's ironic? Yeah, it happened with Dutchavelli. <laughs> <laughs> One guy that's cancelled, <laughs> he's trying to cancel another brother. <laughs> that's a conspiracy. <laughs> but when you actually think about it, because I've seen a lot of people go, yeah, I've seen a lot of people go, yeah. Isn't it ironic how you're trying to cancel somebody? Yeah. And then they're trying to remove his name from the industry, uh. but then and it couldn't. It's Dutch's friend, his best friend, yeah. posted it. Yeah. It's not like it's some any random brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His best friend is in the room yeah, yeah, yeah. with Dutch, yeah. with M Hunter, yeah. with the producers, yeah. whatever, yeah. the yeah. engineers. Yeah. And it's his best friend that's leaked it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Like, I'm not saying that mm. Dutch had anything to do with it. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. It's yeah. all alleged right now. Mm. I'm not going to put anybody's blame on anything. Mm. However, mm. I mean, it's not hard to believe that he has something <laughs> to do with it. I mean, right now he's, he's trying to fight with whether he's cancelled or not. Yeah, yeah. He's not really dropping music. Yeah. Oh, we he, don't even know if he's still in the, if he's even back in the country. Yet. Last I mean, time he, I saw him, he, he was in Jamaica. Nah, fam, he, he's posting life. pictures. Yeah. But turning off um, comments. The comments. Yeah. So it's like, right now we can literally just say, my dude's hiding. Let's just talk about it. he's hiding. Yeah. So, this yeah. M. Huncho thing, <laughs> yeah. to be fair, it didn't do as big of a story as you would think. Because a lot of people just kept saying, allow it. Yeah. How do you feel if you're hiding? Yeah. And I'll tell you something. Yeah, it didn't really surface. I have, I have, I much, have yeah. a sibling within my family who mm-hmm. doesn't show his face right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, hot, hot music, hot music. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Let's not forget that. I, I don't know if I really want to say his name. You know, I'm well, his stage name. It's S Muna. Yeah. Um, uh, we played him last time. It mm-hmm. was outside, I think. Outside, we outside, yeah, yeah, outside, outside, um, outside. But yeah, he doesn't show his face as well. Uh, no. That's family as well. Like, understanding why he doesn't want to do it is yeah. the main reason for him. You the relate con- to that. You relate to that. Well, it's the content of the music as yeah. well. Uh-huh. And at the same time, he because he poses on the GRMs, mm. the mixtape yeah, madness, yeah, yeah. the link to that's like right. his main place to post the music. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, the views do well. You know, you're yeah. getting the 30k's, the 40k's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the the best video did 75,000 views. Oh, okay. Um, Shouts to that. He he just wants to jump on a bus, go on a corner shop, go to uni, right, in without, peace. without people knowing who he is. Yeah. Which is the same thing that M Hunter said. One thing mm. that he said in one of his interviews was, "Yeah, I think it was a John R- Jonathan Ross show, right? I think so. Yeah, but he just said, them, yeah. I'm just trying to go to Tesco about people knowing who I am. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? I'm just trying to go to Tesco. Yeah. Now. Facts. With this like new surge of information regarding who M Hunter is, yeah, I'll ask you first, Joe, before go we on. go into yeah. Dizzy or even Lauza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like I don't, I don't, I feel like the question I'm asking, yeah, is this a breach of privacy or should he have expected this to happen at some point? I think because from even you would, even, yeah, even, you would C- even C- it. C- I got baited out. Yeah, I mean, you would expect it at some point, to be fair. I mean, the six, but, the six, the, the but six, the way, seven dons got beaten out. But in the way that they've it happened, all, yeah. they've all been beaten. The Scribby got beaten up. They've all been beaten out. Yeah, they've all been beaten out. Yeah. So should have M Hunt is M Hunter naive to think that he would never got caught out? Yeah, but I think 
I think what made it sour for him is in the way that it happened. Um, that it was supposedly supposed to be someone close in the group. Yeah, well, if you lot didn't know as well, M Hunter and Dutch have been um, notably known to be very close friends. One of Dutch Willis' first songs after coming out of jail was with M Hunter as well. People, yeah. people need to remember that. Yeah, yeah. The first few songs after "If You Know If You Know Me" mm-hmm. had M Hunter. M Hunter was, was like two songs after the guy came out of yeah. jail. Well, not came out of jail, but had the hits. Yeah. I mean, he. Um, it was, yeah. It means, yeah. <laughs> it but, doesn't um, cancel out the statement. But I'm yeah. dizzy. Um, I want to before you obviously I know you got set. What's the time? Don't worry, about it. why is seven fifty five this time? <laughs> 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 uh, I think it's dead one, still. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but you're not even allowed to go on live anymore. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only talk shows. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to the War with family, though. Yeah. Big shout out to Jason, Leanne, all you lot. Love, mm. love, love. Engineer but, um, crew. <laughs> <laughs> Engineer crew, you know. <laughs> David Patrick caught in the streets as well, yeah? <laughs> Done, though. <laughs> yeah, that's a big all you man them up, so You really yeah. do hold it down for the team. Yeah. So respect to that, man. Yeah. We won't be here without any of you four, would it? So mm. that's love. But anyway, back to what I was saying to Dizzy. Yeah. I want to ask you, Dizzy, yeah. do you feel like M. Hunter should have expected his face to come out at one point? Because the way I look at it, and especially from what he came out and said, because he was he was mad. Yeah. He came out like almost like, wow, Bundy's death really situation. <laughs> we'll fight when I see you. True. That's your man. That Talk it. to your man yeah, type yeah. of vibes, isn't it? But at the same time, Sia, remember, she used to have the fringe cover in her face. Yes. She got caught out. I mean, everybody been on the six, seven brothers. Is his name Scribby? He got caught up. The guy that used to wear that silver yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got caught up. Yeah. So, talking of history, K Trap. Everybody's been caught. Yeah, K Trap. Yeah. Everybody's been caught out. I said yeah. the same thing to my little brother. My brother told me. Yeah. Yeah, so my little everyone, brother. Everyone he that. covers his face as well. Oh uh, yeah. Well, when yeah. He, when he does his music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't see his face, okay. but he said if he gets a hit. Yeah. We'll, we'll take it off. Yeah, we'll take it off. I mean, you know what then? That that comes down to then everyone's kind of different perspective on the whole mask thing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because some people it's a legal thing, yeah. some people it's a fashion thing, and some people it's just an identity thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're trying to cover up certain things and then once like a brother gets to a certain stage, mm. bam. Like and w- which is kinda good because it keeps everyone kinda on yeah. the switch like who's behind the mask, who's the face behind the mask. Yeah, you know what I mean, but do you also mm. feel like that can? I mean, everybody knows what he looks like now. Should he still be wearing a mask? Ooh, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, see, 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 her, see, it showing her face now. K trap, yeah. Them man, they don't care anymore. But Scream, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. Have you, do you see my man's face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you see my man's face? Like, I can't lie to you. The, the thing, the the, 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 thing, the the things he talks. About in his bars here compared to even the image you see of him, bro. You can't take man seriously. He's got to keep yeah. that mask on. He's actually got to keep that mask on. Honestly, like yeah. we, I couldn't believe it was him. I thought it was banter. And then I looked at, I looked at more video and blog sites. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, raw it's actually him. Yeah. These times, man's always saying certain derogatory comments and yeah. saying certain things, bro. So yeah. it's like he's got to keep that mask on unless, unless he sends shots to the person that. Done that horrible thing. Obviously, that's his boy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it yeah. might not be his boy anymore, but yeah, that's his boy. Yeah. So, if he does this trap for him and keeps the mask off, you might yeah. get a blight. But I feel like right now, you've got to keep that mask on, man. As much as you think. Okay. Honestly. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I do believe M. Hunter with the mask is more established than him about it. Exactly. Like, exactly. I don't I, f- I find it weird if he wasn't weird. I feel like with Sia, yeah. it was like she just had a friend. Yeah. I didn't, but when, when I saw her face, it yeah. was like, eh, what you got, we didn't really care. Yeah, we got to say the mask thing again, yeah? Remember, like, even with K-Trap, when he did it, yeah? He didn't tell no one, you know? He literally just done a video, yeah. and before you know it, you saw his face. He was like, oh, yeah. man, my man looks like, um, um, Rams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. thought I started thinking our brothers. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hold tight to see a row in the mix, man. Yeah, man, big up, big up them crew. Scribs, scribs every now and again. If you listen to a lot of their their, their music from time, yeah. you'd see his face. It's just that you'd have like a hoodie or something yeah, covering yeah, the yeah. side of his face. Yeah, you'd yeah, see, yeah. like most people f- know what he looks like, innit? Yeah, of yeah? course. Yeah. But that was obviously more legal thing. Now mm. he kind of 
if you notice, he does Scribs and LD when yeah, he's coming yeah, out yeah. of tracks now. So yeah. he's kind of used that to his advantage you now to kind of yeah. have two different characters. He's you done know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Him, I don't know about my man. Like, I don't. Uh, you know what is that? I feel like because I'm not really, I'm not really his biggest fan. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, no, 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 no. I don't listen to him. Man. Yeah, no, man. Really, for the music I, I listen to you, and as, as soon as I heard like, I'm not even gonna say the next thing I was gonna say, but honestly, <laughs> no. Nah, as soon as I heard certain things, I was like, bro, I can't take it really seriously. Do you know what? So, Wait, you know what I, mean? I want to ask one question before you go as well, yeah. yeah. Because this, this, this is one of the reasons why I was struggling to understand him. Now, I, I wouldn't say he's appropriating a culture. Yeah. Do you kind of remember when he was kind of claiming to be black? Oh, 100%. In a way. Oh, bro. Like, and, and I thought he was. That's, uh, that's we, what makes it worse. So I'm saying, we started thinking yeah, he was really man. black. And then we started seeing his hands and right. like he's Asian. Yeah. And he was not admitting to being I remember, Asian. I remember at one point people started thinking he was Turkish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's mean? like now finding out that one fact, I didn't know he was Muslim, but yeah. finding out from people that he's Muslim, yeah. he goes to X, Y, and Z mosque. Because yeah. people that know him or have seen, recognized the face, were like, run to the guy in the bus yeah. bad times. Not for real. That's not kind of having an effect for him now going forward because he wasn't trying to portray to be an Asian Muslim nah. male. Uh, he was trying to be a black male or essentially portraying to be that kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. vibe, right? Yeah. That's not having an effect for him within the black culture, you think? 100%. 100%. Like, the thing is, yeah, I don't know, it depends. Because where's he from? East London? Yes, see you. Speak up. Um, where's he from? East London? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not okay, sure. Okay, okay. I don't know where we got a brother. Nice. No, no, no. He, he, yeah, you might know. See, where's he, 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 where's he from? Hemant. He, oh, it's North London. Oh, it's okay. North Easy. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, if it was East, obviously a lot of the Asians up them sides, they accept it as like black people anyway. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So, I don't know about North, but I know East in particular. Cause I used yeah. to go uni up there, son. Yeah. yeah. North West. See, see, North and North West are a bit this. It's separate. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah So, yeah. it depends. It depends where he's from. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's right. It's true. But, um, yeah. yeah, like, I don't know, man. Like, me personally, like I said, he's got to keep that mask on, bro. But yeah. Listen, I'll be here all day. You look big up street sessions. Yeah, this is the passing true, yeah. man. Big yeah. shout out to Dizzy and Nice. Coming up next, Energy Tuesdays, yes. 8 to 10 p.m. You know? So make sure you lot stay tuned in for that as well, mm. yeah? Loving the World FM family being here as well. Yeah. So let's keep it moving. You know what's funny about the whole thing, though? When <laughs> when he was talking about the comments about the face, yeah. I had to, I had to bring up the comments that I saw on the YouTube videos I was reporting this. Man, it was it was just too funny. I remember I was I was showing you this at, at the moment as well. <laughs> yeah, read up read yeah. up some of the comments for us. So big uh, shout out to M Huncho, yeah, but this is for you still. <laughs> so one of them okay, first one says, Huncho is gonna be alright. I saw about fifty of him at Juma yesterday. <laughs> Next one says, not gonna lie, it's sad now everyone knows how he looks now. His privacy is gone like WhatsApp. Obviously, that's a that's a, <laughs> that's a that's a joke for them, man, that know about the WhatsApp thing. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a WhatsApp <laughs> joke. Basically, uh, explain to them if they don't understand. Okay, so basically, the terms of service changed on WhatsApp as well. Uh, talking about the... Uh, how data is shared with advertisers. So basically, your stuff isn't going to be as private as it was before. Because they're going to be shared with advertisers. So they can show you ads on WhatsApp. That's basically it. So yeah, that's that's where the joke derives from. Another one. Uh, he looks like one guy that always comes to the namaz late and has his hat backwards. Obviously, I had to show <laughs> Sharif that one because he. I don't know if he if he relates to that one still. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know any brothers that do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Bruh, bad donies. All right, the last two. He, he, one other guy says, he looks like my brother Kareem. Dot, dot, dot. Or every Kareem I know. <laughs> last one says, he looks like a cab driver that left the roads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't even lie. Hey, these people will be going in with these jokes, man. But I can't even lie. I didn't have time to go through all of them. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, basically, that's basically the story, fam. But yeah, um, yeah to, to conclude everything, Listen, if you're on this mask thing, actually, before I even say that, one interesting thing that I heard from one of my YGs down in Slough, he... Uh, can you imagine? MK said YG. Hey, listen. Wow. Listen, 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 listen. Coming from a guy that's not even in the Gs. Listen, I'm not a G at all, but he was my younger, but now he's on he's on the things now, isn't he? In certain ends. And he was telling me that the move is that people would do people would try to test out the music thing 
with a mask. And if it's lit, that's when they'll consider taking it off. But obviously, if they flop the music thing, no one will know who they are. So I thought that was kind of interesting still. But I think that, I think in terms of that, fam, if you go on like GRM and, and Mixtape Madness, everyone's doing that. So it's like, at first it was cool. You had a couple people doing the mask thing, but now everyone's doing the mask thing. It's like, eh, just another one of them. But anyway, shout out to my man down in Slough. Uh, yeah, to conclude, uh, don't be surprised if man catches you in Tesco and they recognize your body shape and they're like, oh, what, 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 what are you so-and-so? And then you're like, oh, no. Da, 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 da. But I understand M- why M. Huncho's upset because obviously, like, it was supposed to be... Bro, the fact that it was like an industry thing as well, that's an idiot thing, fam. You can't be doing that. That's all I have to say, man. That's all I have to say. But anyways, we're going to go back to the music right now. Talking about industry. We got... I don't know what joke I was going to make, but anyways, we have more Ray Quicksand. Let's get it. All right, before we get it, listen, everybody, if you want to hear me make the jokes next time, just let me know. I'll just stop it from ever talking again. Listen, everyone knows my jokes are better. Being tuned into the Street Session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the street. Mm. Online, on the go, and on the FM. Okay, let's go. 